Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Talking About Marvel Strike Force. I am your host, Chad Miller. With the movie Spider-Man Far From Home around the corner, we're getting some new Spider-Verse characters injected into the game. And it's definitely Sinister Six themed, and the first available character that you'll be able to play is Rhino. The only new character that I've been able to recruit this week has been Thanos, and I'm pretty excited about that because I think he's supposed to be like really badass. Uh, I think I've only ever encountered him maybe a handful of times between uh, blitzes and and arena battles and things like that. So I'm really excited to get him leveled up, which is kind of nice because this week I got to level up the five lowest uh, cosmic characters and he was included in that. So I got him a little bit extra higher for that. So... <laughs> So I'm, I'm really anxious to see what he can do. I'm, I'm skeptical on using him just yet because uh, his power set is so low at this time that I, he would get eliminated right away with my strongest team. Last week we did a spotlight on Wolverine as uh, a character in the game and this week we are doing the same with War Machine. So War Machine is a fairly cool character as we come to know him in the comics and in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There's another uh, Marvel fighting game that I play where uh, he was just kind of lame until like his most recent upgrade. Uh, however, uh, War Machine in this game just initially right off the bat is so amazingly kick ass. He has wonderful power set and like whenever I feel like I'm in like a dire need to win something and it's getting more challenging I always throw him into the mix he's he's super amazing so I'm gonna give him a five out of a five now each week I would like to spotlight a character that I really 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 can't wait to get my hands on and this week that happens to be Okoye Okoye was a great character in the Black Panther movie and she has obviously appeared in Avengers Infinity War and Endgame and I was just so impressed with her in the movie Black Panther that she instantly became like one of my favorite uh, Marvel comic characters of all time. So I really want to get my hands on her. I haven't been lucky enough thus far to get any of her character shards uh, but I feel they're going to be coming this way soon. Let's talk about Blitz, baby. Blitz is a segment in the game that is pretty much you going against other players and earning rewards along the way for each battle that you win. And there's certain milestones and things like that. So the first team that you're going to encounter is going to be considerably lower than your team as far as in power rank. And you can change your team's power and whatnot and all that kind of good stuff. But as you progress, the teams that you go against are going to definitely be a little bit more difficult. So the goal is to complete all the milestones in Blitz. And there are going to be rewards abound uh, depending on what sort of campaign that they might be running at the time. So the rewards can vary and can be really super awesome. Okay, so now we're on to the top 10, and this is kind of exciting and uh, for various reasons, as you will see. So let's go ahead and take a look at the last week's top 10. So for this week's top 10, seven of them have advanced this week, and there are a couple other changes as far as the roster goes. Um, Wolverine knocked out Captain Marvel out of the sixth slot, uh, so she is now in the seventh position. And uh, <laughs> Loki has come back to the fold. He is now at position nine, knocking Venom out of the top ten and putting Cable 
at number 10. And the character with the most gain this week happens to be Wolverine. So I guess it pays to get featured in an episode of this show because he definitely went up a lot. That is going to be all for this week's episode. I thank you so much for tuning in to watch this. And don't forget there are other episodes to watch as well. You just have to hit that subscribe button and you'll get notified whenever a new episode of Marvel Strike Force is uploaded. As well as all sorts of other content from Red and Slip Productions. Also hit that like if you like this video. And as always, love and light to you all.